All right, let's go back to Ephesians chapter 2. But God, verse 4, as a lot of, you might hear this saying amongst a lot of preachers, where they thank God for that, but God, but God. That's a famous word, verse, but God. You might say, why? Because all of this is only but, which means that you don't have to be here. But, now are you following that but? A lot of people choose to reject it. But what? Notice here, God, but God. What did God do? Who is rich in mercy? So remember, mercy means something you do deserve, but you don't get it. That's what mercy means. What do we deserve? The context of verse 3, wrath. 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 So we deserved wrath, but we, but God, He didn't give it to us because He's rich in mercy. So when you get out of hell, that's what it, that what is that? That's mercy. So that's basically you condemned as a sinner, falling at the feet of a judge, and the judge pronounces you guilty. What does the poor crying person do who is guilty? Mercy, mercy, and God heard your cry of mercy. So He is rich in that and provided you a way out. It says over here, for his great love, no, this is a great love, wherewith he loved us. This love, when he loved you, it's a great love. We can thank God for that. You got to understand that the cross of Calvary over here is basically God's huge love gift to you. Thank you, Lord. This is purely astonishing love. What did he do in his great love? Let's keep reading. Even when we were dead in sins. So remember the context of verse 1 here. So this is considered dead in sins. Remember that. We were spiritually dead because of sin. So what were you? You were a walking dead man. You were a walking dead man. A lot of people don't realize that. A lot of people don't realize that right now that they are walking dead men. This is your human nature. Okay, let's keep reading. Even when we were dead in sins, hath quickened us together. God made you alive. Quicken, remember, means to make alive. Us together with Christ. Now, did you notice that? He quickened us together with Christ. Jesus Christ, He is alive. So because He is alive, He's able to make you alive together with Him. Now, this is something that's uh, going to be a big blessing. You ready for this? So, this is incredible. You ever wondered why we, why the baptism, we perform it? You ever wondered about that? Where do we get the idea baptism is death, burial, resurrection? You ever wonder why salvation is based on believing and trusting, receiving that death, burial, and resurrection upon ourselves? You ever wonder why your victorious Christian life is also based on, based on death, burial, resurrection? Death to the flesh, bearing the sins, and then resurrection alive to the Spirit? See, this death, burial, and resurrection... You don't realize how important that is. So let me explain to you how important that is. You got to understand there, there's a particular reason why Jesus had to die. Why he had to get buried and why he had to get resurrected. Because it applied to your life. This is where your life is at stake over here. Jesus died. And what is that? That is death to the old nature right here. Children of wrath. When Jesus died on the cross, He died for who? For what? Us. What does that mean? That means that when He died, He's taking upon our death. So if we accept that, then our nature is automatically dead too. Our sinful nature is automatically dead when He died on the cross. That's why he had to die. Why? So that when you receive that death of his, 
your old nature can automatically die on that cross. Because remember, this is all based on death, burial, and resurrection together with Christ. Because look at this one. Verse 5, dead. The next part of verse 5, uh, quickened together with Christ. Look at verse 6, his ascension. Raised us up together, made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Death, burial, resurrection. Why did Jesus have to ascend? Some people don't realize that too. So all of this is done for a reason. Burial. Why? So that your old nature, not only will it die, but it can stay buried. It stays buried. And God can't see it anymore. Why? Because if God sees it, and it's not covered, it's not buried underneath the blood of Jesus Christ, when Jesus Christ was buried, then what? He would see your sins. He would see your sins. So, He is a holy God. He can't even allow 1% of sin slide. So Jesus had to be buried. When He got buried, your sins got buried. The third thing is your resurrection. Why did Jesus Christ raise Himself from the dead? So that when you are dead in sin, you can be what? Made alive, spiritually alive in Christ. So thus, from this guy, you actually become this guy over here. You become alive. This is your new nature over here. Amen. You are spiritually dead, but when God gave you His Holy Spirit, you became alive now. That's the resurrection. The fourth thing is His ascension. Why did Jesus Christ have to ascend to heaven? Well, look at the next verse. Notice that at Ephesians chapter 2, verse 6, and hath raised us up together. See that? Resurrection, right? He raised us up. Notice what? Together. You notice that? Just like verse 5 quickened us together. Why? All of this is based on together with Christ. So basically this. If Christ has to die, bury, resurrect, and ascend, you have to too. You're joined together with Him. That's why we're all one body with Jesus Christ. Do you understand that now? When Jesus died, buried, resurrected, and ascended, you did too. So it's impossible for you to go to hell. Why? Because you're a part of Jesus Christ. If He's sitting right now at the right hand of the Father, and the Bible says your, your spirit is already up there, reserved up in heaven, it, you can't go to hell even if you want to. Because keep reading here. Raised us up together. There's your res God raised us up, resurrected us with Jesus Christ, together with Jesus Christ, and made us sit together. We are sitting with Jesus Christ. Where? In heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Up in heaven. So up in heaven, we're sitting together with the Lord Jesus Christ. You might say, but my body is here down on earth. Ah, your body is supposed to be what? Dead. This is a dead instrument. The real you is right here. The spiritual nature. Not the old nature, the spiritual nature. So let's divide this. Let's rightly divide this. A lot of people do not teach this, which is so important. They have to rightly divide this. These, this nature here is based on your spiritual nature. This nature there, death burial, is based on the old nature, fleshly nature. What died and what buried? Your fleshly nature. Okay, then uh, what was resurrected and what was ascended? Your spiritual nature. These two natures are different. When you rightly divide these two natures, eternal security makes sense. 
It makes sense that no matter what you sin, you're still going to heaven. It makes sense why God can damn a person to hell forever without batting an eye. It makes so much sense why God promised you can be out of hell forever and His love is unconditional. Why? It's based on these two natures. When you understand these two natures, everything starts to make sense. So right now, a part of you is already up in heaven with the Lord Jesus Christ. You're sitting together with Him. Oh, I'm not sitting. What are you looking at? This is supposed to be dead. This is supposed to be buried. What are you looking at? You're supposed to be looking at this here. Your spirit is up there right now with God. Amen. Your spirit right now is sitting up in heaven with God. Isn't that a blessing? You're at the third heaven, the throne of glory right now with Jesus Christ. So how can you go to hell? That does not make sense. I don't know why Jesus had to ascend. Why couldn't he just stay down here on earth with us? Sure, that'd be nice, but then you wouldn't be able to ascend with him right now. He had to ascend so that what? Your spiritual nature can also ascend with him. I mean, I, look at the verse. It's t verse 5, verse 6. It's all what? Together, 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 together. Why? Because it's following what Jesus Christ did as well.